Hey folks, and it's Beano Black, and we figured out what it was. I have, I have figured out what it is, and it is Rigel Canteras, and I'm going to show you on Stellarium, and we have it fresh here today. So, I got a, I got, I'm getting an HD for you this time, and then uh, I'm going to bring it up, and it's going to come up right here. And actually, you can see it between the flags right here. This is the flags that go underneath for the basement entrance in for the fish. Uh, science action, okay. That's Rigel Canteras. And here comes Rigel. And that is Rigel. It's not the moon. There's going to be a lot of people think that that's the moon, and I'm going to be able to prove it to you that that's not the moon right there. And then I'll come up and we'll zoom in on it and get a good look at our second sun. Okay, that is Rigel. It's so huge and big and far out and it's bleeding through. We're in a unique position in our 365 days around. And I'll bring it back. And that is Rigel, folks. Don't let anybody tell you that that's the moon or anything like that. That is Rigel. Now, I'm going to go to Stellarium really fast. And remember, see how low it is? But it's, it goes high too. And you're gonna you're gonna know that there's absolutely the only thing that could go high at this time. And remember, it's 7:30 UTC. Okay. So and then it is five hours difference from my Central Standard Time, and I've got the clock set to Central Standard Time this time. And this is absolutely Rigel Contreras. Rigel. Uh, should be considered either Rigel A or Rigel B, and I'll figure that out in the next couple of days. But for right now, it is Rigel. So that's our second sun. So factual. And so basically, you minus off the uh, five hours, and then we got to go to 17. We got to go to 1930, because uh, basically uh, they're five hours ahead of us. Okay, so we're central standard time here. Okay, so if you minus the five hours, you go down to uh, the 30 minute mark. As you can see, there's Rigel, and Rigel's the only thing that it can be. Mars is right tight with Venus and the Sun and everything like that. And when we go back and play it, you'll, you'll, you know, Mercury's way out ahead of the Sun and everything like that. And Mars is too tight to the Sun, and so is Venus and Uranus. And there was nothing just like there was the other night. There wasn't anything, and, and I told you then, I think it, I figured it's Rigel or a supergiant, and that's exactly what it is. So, here we go, actual factual. We'll just bring it back to the 1730. And you'll realize that that's what came up. Either that or it's another super giant. So, then we're down at uh, Antarctica here, northeast. And actually, more east is where this camera is. It's pretty much what, you know, it matches up and everything. So, because the north, the northeast is, is actually the other camera, the one that I'm not letting us look at. So, they're not giving us the footage of it, but we cut, catch it here so I can hit play. And actually, you know, it looks like uh, Rigel actually might have been what, but see the thing is this is per GPS, this is right to the Nats ass, so you're not going to see Rigel until 1730. And actually it's, I guess it was a little late maybe, if anything, so not really, because so, the time is pretty much correct there. You can watch how I can get back again real fast. So, pretty much we got it as it came out, 17.30. That's Rigel there that'll be coming up. So, remember it came up from behind the, the old zone. Hit that, oh, and it's Rigel, it's absolutely Rigel. That's not the moon. The moon's not here. I'll be able to show you from Wolfie where the moon was at. The moon was on the dark side, the other side. See, and this is the sunlight side because it's the east side. That's where the sun was. 
the sun was up and yeah it can be daylight all the time down there but still the dark the moon is over at the dark side of, of the earth and I'll go show you that right now okay so that was basically Rigel that came out I'm gonna speed it up a little bit here it comes there it goes and it was Rigel okay that's what comes by and then 2253 and you add five hours so one hour would basically be a few minutes to uh, uh, would be 23 a few minutes to midnight you see and then you add five hours and then that makes it 553 554 and that's the 6 UTC time which is the eight eighteen hundred that they have there eighteen hundred UTC GMT and I got that converted too so here's here's the time conversion so basically you see that happened at one o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time okay so and then you convert the time that makes it six o'clock, which is 18 UTC or 1730 UTC to 1800 hour. Okay, it's military time. This is regular time, but if you add five hours to this, that gives you your six o'clock UTC, which is 1800 UTC, which basically we've seen it at 1730 UTC. So 1730, and then run the clock on to 1800 hour UTC time. That's what we've seen down there. So actual factual. So here's where the moon was and as you can see basically it was on the dark side of earth and it was up enough that it wasn't at the south pole remember the sun's over here to the east we rotate to the east okay we rotate to the sun over in europe gmt utc time and it's daylight now it does get daylight for a good but at that time that's the exact shade of the earth and that's where the moon was the moon was on the dark side was not over on the east side okay absolutely the east side is over here by the sun the east side the moon wasn't there the moon it was actually behind uh, if you watch later in the day I don't know if you can see the moon down there later in the day but that's the actual factual position of where the moon was at and everything like that and then uh, and this basically this is for the central standard time the, moon rise and set so it didn't even set here until uh, on the 28th moon rose at 10 24 p.m. here so 10 hours later of one o'clock it was up here in North America so it wasn't down there so it's very simple. The moon was not on the east part of Antarctica. The moon was way over here and it wasn't even really down at Antarctica. It was in the dark and it was way away from Antarctica. It was over this the angle. You would have had to have been on the extreme west side of Antarctica. And they were on the extreme east side of Antarctica and the moon wasn't there. It was Rigel. So we'll pump up in size. We'll just go up to 200. And you can see that the dates there and right and everything. And then I can go up to a little bit more. We'll go to 400 real fast. And we'll just take a look at it at 400 with the with the zoom. Move over and take a look at it. And we'll be able to zoom there. Get up and take a look at it there. That is Rigel Cantaris. Like I said in the future, I'll tell you which one it what it is if it's A or B. That is not the moon. As you can see, the nuclear there, the radioactive. You can see to it as it's it is it's doing its radioactive thing because it's that is a huge. Right, I'll throw Rigel in real fast on Wolfie and give it to you here because you can see that it's the sun. I mean, it's Rigel. You go back and back up to the Stellarium that I had and everything, and then what I'll do is I'll power down real fast too, and we'll get to. Uh, We'll come down here and give a couple steps. We'll step, and I don't know if I went forward or backwards. I went forward. 
And we'll get in. That is the sun. That is not the moon. So, factual, actual, it's right. Well, I've been telling you about the super giants for two years. They're bleeding through more, and we're in a position in the solar system right now. We're in our, yeah, in our Milky Way galaxy. That you know, give it one more step. We'll get back up there, and we'll try to get a 9.99 before we leave. And then you got to leave in there. So we'll go back and we hit back, and we'll give it one, two, because we went ahead, and there you go. Not the moon. Okay, and then we get down, and we'll hit back again because we want to kind of see what it looks like. Just a little farther away. And as you can see, we get that somewhat of a signature that we always used to see with what we know that is the other star, sun that's in our solar system basically because it's actual factual that we have more than. This is just bleeding through from way the hell out in space. Okay, so this is a good shot to get up at 9.99 take a look at those spots for stars or planetoid objects that are probably in between way the hell out in Rigel there. Okay, we got it at 9.99 and here we come down and I'm gonna go a little bit right to get to it. We got it at 9.99 and we'll get it over there a little bit like that and get the magnifier going. I just wanted to give you guys know that we're at Nehemiah. So you get the yellow one. And we'll back out. And that is Rigel Kinteris. So. So since this is so close, uh, bleeding out in space, the massive distances, uh, this might be their second sun that we've been seeing on all the red footage. When I've seen that, and basically that means that Rigel kind of basically comes around the sun clockwise then you see so uh, this is Rigel Kenteris I'll find out if it's A or B but that's what it is and then uh, we'll just get in on those nodes real good there to the left and I'll just go all the way up I should be all the way up 16 and I should be able to get up over to it and you get a real good look at Rigel Kenteris that is Rigel Kenteris I just don't know if it's Rigel B or A, and we'll find that out. It is absolutely Rigel, and we are absolutely in Nehemiah Station. And there are some of those nodes. You can see the nodes. I can't really point at them. Hopefully the Nehemiah thing will go away. I'll tap here, maybe it'll go away. And you can see some of the nodes. There's something, you know, massive distances, so there's something between us and Rigel with no problem, and it just burns right over. It's so powerful and huge. So let me hurry up and give you some information on Rigel, and I'll pump out of this. And this is Rigel, and as you can see some of the radioactive signature above it, and then we come down. So that's Rigel bleeding through, and then you can see some other stars way the hell back above Rigel, or in front of us too, it doesn't really matter. So this is probably what we've been seeing bleeding down, and this is what floated below uh, our magnetical here a few days back on the 25th and so forth and so such probably quite possibly This might be what we've been seeing bleeding through and then that strong magnetical so then this is magnetically Connected to the Sun the actual scientific fact because the idea of the magnetical line if this is what we've been seeing in the red That's what's been bleeding down and basically I can take you that real fast. Let me get out of this and basically I still, I'm kind of arguing with myself, and I don't, I just absolutely don't believe that that could be that. It, it is Rigel Kenteris, but what I'm saying is, I don't think that it could be. It, there, it's straight up that it's an object that we've got out there that we're seeing by Earth. So we'll just stick with it. This is Rigel. It absolutely is Rigel Kenteris. And we're down there at Nehemiah. And uh, I can go ahead and uh, I think I got enough room here to boom. You can go boom, boom. Take it down and then watch it rise right by the flag, and then all the way up. And, we and hopefully, I can give you a, a, a position.
Hopefully I can give you a current map of it. That far away in Orion and it was burning down on Earth.